So your assemblies are going to get bigger and bigger and more parts and more relationships and more constraints and more are going to be going on. And you don't necessarily always want to have to come through, find the part, find its, its constraints or joints and make changes that way. Also, the relationships folder, sorry, the relationships folder, as you can see here, starts getting pretty long because you have more components, more constraints, more joints. So another option that we can do is we can actually do a show relationship. And you can also access this from the right-click menu as well, where you can do the show relationship. What the show relationship is, is you pick the component and all the constraints and, and um, joints appear on the screen as icons. So now what I can do, and that icon is going to stay there until I hide it. Now what I can do is that notice I can pick it and I can actually edit it. I can find it in the browser. I can delete it. I can suppress it. I can isolate the components that are involved in that particular um, relationship. And I can make changes to it. So maybe what I want to do is I want to come in here and I actually want to edit that constraint uh, because there's a limit on it. And I want to change the limit because it's a little bit far. I only want six degrees. I'll click OK. And now I can see that I've changed that limit. Now, once I'm done, what I can do is I can hide all and notice that it's gone away. 